Wait a minute. Hi. I know who you are. <laughs> Wait, what? Time to clock in. Right, so, you <laughs> so you can't have him anymore. Wow. <laughs> 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 <It's incredible. laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. If you have not yet liked this video or subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. It has been a while since we did a clothing drop here on the Night Shift. A lot of people have been asking about it. And today is the day the working past death drop is a officially live at shopthenightshift.com. So this right here is the official Working Past Death shirt. It's got the skeleton on the back of it with the broom. He ain't clocking out anytime soon. And then this is the Gimme Space shirt. It's got the Grim Reaper with the mop walking through space. The designs are sick. The shirt quality is exceptional. It's definitely gonna sell out and it's available right now, shopthenightshift.com. All right guys, I'm over at the new house right now. Came here to shoot with Aiden today. I wanted to also bring back somebody that you guys probably remember from the earlier days of the night shift. Somebody we haven't seen in a long time that's been doing quite well for herself. Hello guys. <laughs> she goes by the name of Emily Willis, everybody's yeah. favorite stepsister. I don't know. Your female performer of the millennium. I fucking am. I just got female performer of the year. She's growing up. <laughs> She's about to be like a step auntie or some shit. No, fuck no. Don't say that. <laughs> Speaking of growing up, somebody else in this house is growing up. As I said, Aiden Ross. Just like I was introduced to my favorite actress by my father, Aiden's father is now going to introduce him to his favorite actress. That's a good friend move. <laughs> <laughs> Things changed a little bit since I talked to you earlier. I know. Get that the fuck off. Me. Sorry. <laughs> so I just got a call from your mom. So evidently uh, your mom had been married before she had you. I, I guess what I'm saying is you have a, uh, a stepsister that you don't know about. She's actually here at the house. So right now you brought my supposedly stepsister over. I don't know why you're laughing because I'm being dead serious. Okay, but I don't. Uh, you expect me to just believe that? Let's go. Come meet her. Em? Emily? Emily. Emily Ross. Well, no, she has a different last name. What's her last name? You, you don't need to know that right now. M? What are you talking about? Emily? M? Uh. Guys, help me. This isn't funny. I'm stuck. And now a word from our sponsors. Have you ever wondered what the hardest material on Earth is? Of course, some of the top spots are claimed by things like diamond, the web of the Darwin bark spider, and of course, graphene or the compound we all know as carbon nanotubes. But if you want to see the actual hardest thing on Earth, harder than diamonds or any of the other things that I've showed you today, give me about 15 minutes or check out the link in the description below to find out for yourself. Your stepsister's stuck in the washing machine. So what do you want me to do about it? Help her, bro. Oh shit. Pull her out. Get out of the washing machine. Oh, oh shit. Wait a minute. Hi. I know who you are. <laughs> wait, what? Wait a minute. You're at, wait. At, wait. You're my stepbrother. I am? You didn't know this? No. Well, that's not what mom and dad said. Oh shit. Hey, I wow, I didn't know you were so hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Well, I know that you make videos. Yeah. I make videos too. Really? Yeah. We should collab. We should totally. Oh shit. <laughs> Dad won't be home. All right, wait, all right, anyways, <laughs> hold on. Dad's right here, he's at least the house dad. So here's the deal. Why don't we do some stepbrotherly, stepsisterly things? Maybe what? shoot some hoops, oh, like that kind of stuff. Okay. Splash. Fuck you. Splash. Guys. All right, whoa, 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 easy. Just, why are you interrupting the game? Maybe no. let her take three pointers or something. That was a little bit too, Brother and sister. We're chilling. We're bonding. Yeah. No, you're thinking of bondage, dude. That's completely <laughs> different. <laughs> okay. Whoa, what, what is that? A vibrator. Um, yeah. It is? I've actually used that as a vibrator before. What the f Oh my hey, god. Yo. All right. All right. Anyways, this is Aiden's stepsister. Her name's Emily. His mom <laughs> called me today. They actually had a stepsister from a previous marriage. Like family. Like reuniting family. Yeah. That's sick, yo. She actually was fucking got stuck in the washing machine. Really? Yeah, to help her out. Brotherly shit, you know? Yo, keep yeah, it over there. Same. What's going on Wait, with his really? tongue, Summer? No, he is fine. He, he doesn't have any teeth. He only has two teeth in his oh. whole mouth. So it's like his tongue just hangs out. All right, so we play basketball. Uh, we can go down by the oh, lake. Hold on a second. Andy's calling me. One second. Who's Hey. Hi, where are you? Uh, I'm going to come up right now. Okay. All right, I, got, I got to go. It was really nice uh, spending time with you. Maybe catch up a little Where bit. Where are you going? Nah, I just gotta go upstairs and hang out with uh, my girl. Oh, you have a girlfriend? Yeah. I thought we were gonna continue to hang out. We, we can, can hang out still. Other. Of course we can hang out still. Well, does your girlfriend know about it? I gotta go. It was uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. Uh, maybe I'll see you soon. You'll definitely see me soon. 
What a fucking lame -o. We're down here, Atlanta, Georgia, Hotlanta, ATL. As soon as I get to any city, a bunch of people reach out to me. They DM me and tell me what burger place to go to. And when I got to Atlanta, a bunch of people messed. Why don't you come over here, George? Uh, as soon as I got to Atlanta, people reached out and they said, a place called Varsity Burgers and a place called Grindhouse Killer Burgers. Wow, that sounds more intense. And it sounds more like the Night Shift brand. Like there's UFOs like invading and destroying cities. And already, the fact that they have a wavy arm, inflatable arm, man, automatically just says to me the place is on a higher level than, any, than anywhere I've else. I've never seen a burger joint sell cars. They asked me what I wanted. I said, I want whatever your signature burger is. It's called the Grindhouse Burger. Wow, dude, I can see the crispy patty. Looks like Shake Shack already, but the double patty, the cheese got a super melt on it. I want you to go like this and show the camera your hands. That's actually really bad. You're, you're an animal. <laughs> but what I'll say is this is always the sign of a good burger. All the fries here are like this Cajun crinkle cut, pico de gallo, bacon. That's everything on one bite. Oh my God. Uh, wow. One out of 10. I can't rate fries. I can't rate anything on the show except burgers. Really? Chicken sandwiches, you guys have seen a lot of that lately. I can't rate anything except for the burgers. All right, here we go. That's the bite right there. You can tell that's a, that's the zone you want to land in. It's got all the stuff, the cheese. Wait, why are you eating it upside down? I always do. It's like my thing. It's like Portnoy with the New York flop and it's just what I do. I eat every single burger upside down. It pisses people off a little bit, but it's what I do. It almost tastes like a burger you would you would make at home. The roll, once again, as usual, all these places, really soft potato bun. What is actually going through your head? Generally, what I'm doing is an algorithmic approach to how I rate the burgers. In my mind right now, I'm playing with all the other places I've ever rated. Is gonna... Shake Shack a 10 to you? Shake Shack's a 9.3. Holy cow, have you ever had a 10 before? It was like a great whale that's no one's seen. No, there's no 10s. It's actually a really, really good burger. It's really meaty, which I like. I'm a, a big fan of putting meat in my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give it an 8.4. It's an 8.4 Grindhouse Killer Burgers down here in Atlanta. I also did give them a, a tiny, tiny, like 0.1 bump just because of the vibe. The aliens shooting lasers out of their fucking eyes, taking out cities. That's the kind of stuff I do like. Grindhouse Burgers Atlanta, 8.4. Great burger, check it out. One of the most famous strip clubs in the world is here in Atlanta. It's called Magic City. It's in numerous rap songs. I've always wanted to go there. Quite, quite the club. Uh, went last night with these girls. They seem so sweet and innocent right now. Let me tell you why they're not, okay? Last night, I took approximately $2,000 worth of money on my bank account to get singles. I gave that girl, Father Kells, a hundred of those. And last night, while going through her purse afterwards, I looked in and there was the money I gave her. I was saving it for later. She tried to steal the strippers Money, Kelsey. Sorry, I was on the right He's mind. commanding the that audience. That wasn't me, that was my um, alter ego, and she apologizes, and she's sorry, and she won't do it. In her defense, she was really drunk, and I do believe that she would have, like, she had the intention had, of spending it later I had good intentions, on. I did. And it's funny to hear you saying that she was drunk, because while she was pocketing my strip club money, you were stripping for singles. You actually were fucking fully twerking, and David was showering you asses, with like, singles oh, that he picked up off the floor. I was having a lot of fun. I love strippers. Me and strippers get along really well. We dance together, we smile, we laugh, we have a good time. Okay. She was drunk there, but then roughly 45 minutes after that, we went back to this party that we were at earlier, and she was literally launching chicken tenders at Jack Harlow, like this. <laughs> <laughs> she was a mess. My favorite thing about Kelsey is that when she gets blacked out like she was last night, she gets so violent. She's so violent and aggressive. Like, I'll say anything to her. She's like, shut the fuck up. I'm not fucking talking to you. And then she throws the shit at me. <laughs> All right, guys. We're coming down to the end of another episode of The Night Shift. At the end of last week's episode, I dropped a little bit of uh, knowledge on you guys, a little gem of value from my own life. A lot of people talked about it. A lot of people appreciated it and said it was what they needed to hear. So this week, I want to do the same thing. Earlier in the week, I posted a video on Instagram stories talking about this concept that nobody is coming to save you. A lot of people wait for an outside catalyst in life, a parent to bring them to rehab if they're using drugs a spouse to leave the relationship if it gets abusive. The thing you guys need to know today is sometimes that catalyst doesn't come along. And if you're like me, you may waste years, if not your entire life, waiting for somebody else to do the work for you. Nobody is coming to rescue you. Nobody's sending a life raft for you. You need to take responsibility and accountability for your own lives and you need to do it today. Do not be an I'll do it tomorrow, motherfucker. Get started today. And with that, that's the end of today's episode of The Night Shift. If you haven't liked the video, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and do that right now. And we're clocking out. Peace! Wait, 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 one last thing. Working Past Death Drop is available right now and is definitely gonna sell out. Go get it, shopthenightshift.com. I have another sibling that you don't know about. What? You're fucking lying. Stop, stop, that nice shit. <laughs> Hold on a sec, sorry. Wanna buy? Yeah.
Got it. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we? It's time to clock in. Ooh, I got goosebumps. Honestly, you're doing a great job. <laughs> <That looks> <laughs>